Good morning, everybody. Good morning from another week, and I'm tired. <laughs> I didn't get enough sleep last night. I stayed up through that Moto Monday vlog, and because yesterday I had stuff to do all day, so I stayed up last night and did the Moto Monday vlog, and I wanted it all ready for a new week. And uh, the video this morning when I got ready to make it live for you guys, as I was showing there, they wouldn't... Um, give it monetization because a few seconds of sound low in the background of music playing somewhere and I tried to squelch all of it out but at that particular area it was down so faint that I didn't think it would be an issue so uh, it was it was and in fact I'm kind of shocked because there was music in several other places too and that's the problem when you go out into the public and you try to vlog it really can be an issue especially when they play so much music which it's really enjoyable it's enjoyable to listen to music it's great music up there but it really makes it hard when it, you're trying to manage these things because these frivolous little strikes and I could have went ahead and either done this task that's called uh, removing that sound it takes hours to do and then it's still not going to give you the monetization they would have gave you. You're going to get junk. Or uh, you let the artist make all the money for your work for their few seconds right there, just seconds. Or you can test it for a review, for a manual review with YouTube. But by the time you can test it, um, your window of opportunity for that vlog is already passed by. So the only choice is, is go in, re-edit it. Now if you re-edit, you gotta convert the file. And if it's a pretty good file, that takes a while. Then you gotta upload it, which takes sometimes a while, according to which internet service I'm having to use at the time and if PLDT's working right. And then if you try to upload it and instantly publish it, it doesn't have time for it to be out there to get proper monetization for advertisers that want to be a part of your channel. So it just goes into this open pool real quick. I know I've, I've had some insight from this from YouTube, uh, from some talks with them before. Huh. There's a Filipina girl in Singapore that worked for, for Google Ads and <laughs> she gave me some information before. She told me about all these things. So, uh, so then, if you don't let it sit there and have time for them to get the proper advertisers laid in on it, uh, which is done through an algorithm, but it needs a little time, then you still done all your work for nothing because you're gonna get junk ads and no money. So Mont Mock's a different person than he was the last time he was here working. Let's see, what was your last day you worked? Thursday or Wednesday? Wednesday, yeah. He left here a single man and come back a married man. <laughs> Better put a ring on it, huh? <laughs> so, you're going to get a sheet of plywood and lay on that? Yeah. And now we're going for that center one up there, so. Huh? Yeah. Huh? I want more, okay, I want to be sure because I don't want anybody to fall. So what they're doing is there's a big light fixture right here. In fact, when I say it's a big light fixture, I mean it because what's it say on the end? Big light. Yeah, big light fixture. And 
set up for a couple of other light fixtures up there and those are gonna be for some pin lights because eventually on this big wall right up here, come up these stairs, um, there'll be artwork on that wall and I wanted that outside one for a pin light shine over on that wall for the artwork that'll be on it. And then I have over to the other side, another one for a pin light if I wanna focus it somewhere else like down at this window or something down there. I can focus it at that area. And then I'll have the chandelier style light. It's not really a chandelier, but it's a modern type maybe. Uh, but it's gonna be hanging down right there in the middle. And so we gotta set up these planks across here and uh, put plywood and all where we can put the ladder and get up there and work on that. All right, so we're gonna open this light fixture up right here. And that's the back plate on it that's gonna go up to the ceiling. Um, and that's gonna be the bracket right there. So we, yeah, that's right to start laying this stuff out. And there they are. Um, I think what we'll have, we'll have to hang all of these. Yeah, we'll have to hang all of them on there and in the right order. But we'll have to put this bracket up first. Mm. And, uh, and then we'll raise that up there and it'll screw on to it. So. Hello everybody, good morning. So I cook early today. It's because uh, uh, I want to go to the town and I want to go to my dentist. But before that, I want to cook James food first and July food before I go. So I make it sure that they have a food here. So anyway, I'm just show you what I cook. So this is the flounder that my brother cough and he sell to us. So anyway, yeah, uh, I cook this one today. So I cook with the butter. I fry this one with the butter and I add uh, tomato, basil, onion, and uh, of course, uh, and of course I use the seasoning, the Cajun seasoning spice, Slap Ya Mama, so one of our favorite seasoning, Cajun spice. And here I was been uh, marinating the liver and the gizzard. It's a uh, it's, uh, liver and gizzard from our chicken that we've been raising here, 45 days chicken. And here uh, it is um, the fish that I was cooked like a adobo style and of course this one is for myself. Bilong bilong, we call this one a bilong bilong here. So anyway, this, is, this fish is for myself because I love this kind of cook. And a boiled egg. James loves eggs, so I make it sure that he also has some eggs for this morning. And of course, the reason is I make it sure that he has food for today. Because sometimes I'm not that cook so often. So I'm not that cook so always, but today um, it's my treat for him.
Was you hungry, Ma? Mm -hmm. Was you hungry? I'm not hungry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only thing you left was the bone, huh? <laughs> what about you over there? Are you hungry? Wow, you got a whole variety of food there. Yes. Mango, boiled egg, calamansi, you got some beyond. You got a mix, not mix. She cooked up some chicken livers right out here. Mm. And she cooked up this little flounder, little mini halibut right in here. This is going to be my lunch later. I had a problem with the breeze from that window or if this door is open, slamming this door here shut. It slammed it so hard that it's broke the jam out of the opening a couple times. I mean, mega hard. I don't know how the door survived it. There was no other way to position this door in this house because we didn't want it swinging at this column right here and the switches were there. We didn't want it like coming right at the column and it's still the same thing. Either direction, the wind would slam it. We didn't want it opening out into the little hallway right here right in front of other doors, so that wasn't gonna work. So we had to deal with that. So I went everywhere here in the Philippines and I couldn't find these. So I got on Amazon and, and put them in my shopping cart. And then when I had enough stuff to get that free shipping, I eventually fulfilled the order and sent that here. So this is that little stopper and that holds it. And then if you wanna close the door, you just, Trip that with your toe and you close the door. And just like that, it's holding it. And we put one in here on this little office door also. I'm always taking the fans or the tripods and putting them down there against the door to try to keep it from slamming. And it'll drag them across the floor sometimes. I'm going to collect some egg today. So, yesterday evening, I was been working their nest here, and wow, I saw the chicken was already laying eggs there. That is so cool. So I made this improvise something. So the one that, because like yes, you know, using the video that yesterday is was the market day so I bought this one this two knitted basket for the chicken to lay eggs and uh, of course I also clean up the stuff and then I use the old I mean the dry grass so that they have something see this one there's some eggs eggs there and uh, I think I'm going to <clears throat> work this one work this one because seems like you know like uh, the egg was almost fell for that so anyway i was happy to made it so look this one so i put something string on here so that they're hold strong and of course i put it there and check it out the chicken was really laying there hello chicken so happy so maybe next sunday i'm gonna buy two more and the reason that I like more uh, place to they can lay eggs because sometimes maybe one of the chicken want to roasting, you know, to sit. I mean, uh, to sit the eggs. So we want to to have more chicks. So that's what I'm gonna. That's what I'm I'm planning, you know, to make more nests there. Pretty good size egg for uh, yes. So we're needing a way to hang this light out here. I'll move that one. There you go. And let's see. 
All right, is it clear out there? Yeah, we're needing a way to hang this light. It's still, they're kind of close. I wish we could get it out further. Um, you know what, Mont? Let's redo this real quick. It's still a little bit too close because it's going to hit that down there. So we're going to move it out a little further so it don't hit down here. But the best way we can see and adjust these and get them in place is to hang it in the air where we can see what we're doing because these are nice long pieces here and we need to get all the hots adjusted up and down and there's little sets on the cord and then for safety you can tie a little knot in the top and then you got to get all these connected together too tall mm, I, hey i have a i have a small white ladder with big steps downstairs in the house here just remove that chair there okay i don't want that it's too dangerous I'll get you that other step stool. So I'm pretty excited because the guys are here to start the glass upstairs up here. I'll show you how we're gonna do this. They got all the frames here. So where their rectangle frames are gonna go up against these columns up here they're gonna stop them straight down right here and we're gonna fill this area in so they're gonna take right now and take uh, the grinder with a concrete blade and we're gonna score this column up on the inside get a lot of scores so it'll bond maybe a little X pattern and then we're gonna take a masonry bit we're gonna drill holes down through here and we're gonna put three inch concrete nails in and after they put the frames, then we're gonna come back in and render in those right up nice and neat and shut those little sides in like that. And so that's what they're gonna be doing here. Well, we'll continue working up here, trying to get all these uh, lights in up here in this foyer. Now that we finally bought the fixture that we like, um, we drilled in and we set anchors up here earlier. Boy, I've been sweating. Look at that. <laughs> Mike, Mike and I, we've been up here putting this light together, hanging outside. Then we brought it in. Should have videoed that. That was funny. It took four of us, uh, three of them carrying light fixtures and, and holding on, and me carrying the light fixture up. And just now, Mike, Mike and I up here trying to hold this heavy thing over our heads with the wires connected and line up four little bolts through holes. And this stoker is heavy, man. <laughs> so it's just that hanging weight like that. So it's gonna be pretty nice having that in here. This is one of the reasons I've never put stair railing up here because we knew we still had work and that we were gonna be making a temporary platform again, coming up here working on different things. Um, it's gonna stay up here for another day or two because we are also going to be connecting lights up right there and there I need to run and go pick them up at City Hardware. And as I was saying earlier, with this chandelier hanging in the middle, in this foyer, there's going to be a large artwork on this wall right over here. It's a pretty big wall. And I want that there's a pin light shining down, at, right down on that. And according, I might end up with a little mini track light shining several lights down onto that artwork. And then over here, if I want to focus a light towards that window or something over there as well, I can. So, Ma, let's go ahead and put all the light bulbs in it. That's all those in that bag down there. Each one of those bulbs there is kind of pricey. Let's 
about 1 30 in the afternoon you see batteries are completely full maxed out and that's so far for the year um, so 1.7 uh, megawatts has been produced so far this year by the uh, solar system and it put out a total of 2.5 so it deduct 1.7 2.5 and that's how much we bought from the grid well if y'all see man the digging has really come out across here man look at this and this awesome look at that man look man chip he's ready to go swimming already boy he's just waiting for the water Pray for rain. <laughs> well, it is over into the afternoon, and I want to show you something. It looks really cool. Look at that. Man, looks beautiful. Cannot wait till all this plywood's out of here. But man, that is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm so glad I picked this up. Well, everybody, it's the end to another work day. And man, I tell you what, I just really enjoy this day. It's just one of those days that you get that you just want to put a check mark for happiness on. Uh, it's just been nothing but a good day. Got these lots in that is just beautiful. If you want to know about how long that is, it's about eight foot. That's about an eight foot light from there down to there.